Howdy guys, Auto Edits Jason here, and on today's informative video, I'm gonna be breaking down the four basic food groups of human interaction with a motorized vehicle, all culminating, of course, right down here in the butt, where we'll really dig in, and I'll explain what the butt dyno actually is and how it works. We're gonna wipe out any myths you might have. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started right up here in the old eyeballs, earballs, brain department. Now, your eyes are the visual clue to your brain to let you know that turns coming up, that obstacles in the way, what you're seeing and doing, uh, where you're aiming and all of that. Now, here's something that you may not know, but your ears, your inner ear is a very, very critical part of the whole butt dino equation here. Inside your inner ear is your vestibule nerves, and in there is what your balance, and it's like kind of almost like a little bit of a, a dynamometer of itself. It tells you your body's relation to gravity on the planet. So it, it tells you when your heads lean this way or how many force, how much force you're feeling to the left, right. All of those things all happen right here in the inner ear. So that's a really overlooked and important area. So that translates uh, cornering force, braking force, acceleration, things like that. So this is actually a really important thing. So the eyes, ear, eyeballs, earballs, important. So we'll start there. Next up, hands. Now, hands are very important because they obviously are the thing that you actually interact with the steering of the vehicle that you're generally in. So that is a very important and tactile thing that you can actually feel what the car is doing, what the front tires are doing, even on a car as lame and tame as a Prius, say, uh, which has a very numb steering system in it. Um, the steering and your, what your hands are doing is an important part of that. So hands, next up, very important and critical part of this equation. Next are the feet. Now the feet are what you actually generally use to accelerate, brake, and in a proper car right here you would have this third pedal a clutch to change gears. Uh, so the, the feet are really important in the sense that through your throttle foot, you can actually tell how much throttle the vehicle is accepting. Uh, in a car that you're like cornering hard and you feed too much throttle, you'll get throttle oversteer. So feet are very important in that. You'll also use your foot to set, tell you how the brakes are performing, how the brakes, the brake pedal gets spongy when it gets hot or if it's good or if the, there's, taking more brake effort. So those are very important clues onto what your car is doing and how everything's going there as well. And last, but definitely not least, the butt or butt dyno. Now you've heard every single automotive journalist at some point mention the butt dyno feel of a car. I've used it a bunch. It's a really good term. It's silly, I'm a st stunted emotionally uh, grown dude, but I still giggle when I think of it. It's a funny word um, or a funny term, but it really is a, a, an accurate description of what it is. It, it's literally what it sounds like. Now a dynamometer is what this word is. The dynamometer that you would normally reference is an engine dy dynamometer, and they also have chassis dynamometers. So an engine dynamometer would test the horsepower and torque of an engine. Part of being a car guy in my world is always becoming and getting better as a driver. <laughs> this whole trying to talk and drive a Hellcat on a racetrack is proving to be difficult. And being good as a driver requires you to know or be in tune with the vehicle that you're driving, no matter what it is, no matter how mundane the vehicle is, I enjoy communicating and understanding what the vehicle is telling me um, and, and getting the feedback and being able to maximize whatever the vehicle is. Um, you know, there's, there's a rewarding factor to that and that's the way I enjoy and celebrate being a car guy. And butt dyno is literally 
the biggest contact patch you have with your vehicle. So if you picture it this way, at least in my proportions, uh, my butt is the biggest part of me touching the car at any one time. Uh, maybe you have different proportions and you have super huge eyeballs or earballs and hands and feet and those give you more <laughs> feedback. And if you do, I'd love to see that. Uh, that would be a very interesting thing. But if you look at it, we're gonna jump inside one of the cars and I'll show you um, exactly what I'm explaining to you now. Just try and be very yeah. aggressive. Okay. Shows you. Awesome. <laughs> Being efficient on the front side, yeah. though, it's fun. Yeah. It's just we're out of control. So as important as all of these other things are, they all, everything ends up kind of pointing back towards the butt. Everything goes right to the butt. It sounds silly, but it's absolutely true. Because this is the largest part of you in contact with the vehicle, all of these things work together to tell your brain up here what to do or how to react to certain things that the vehicle is doing. But this thing right here is the most important part of that equation because how do you tell uh, what the feeling of the car is when it hits a bump or as it's turning, it literally, the, the, your butt in the seat translates all of that stuff to your ear balls and your uh, vestibular nerves in here, what the G-forces are. So this thing is super important. Oh my god. <laughs> that didn't feel that good. So the butt dyno is literally being able to take the feedback and the input that you're getting from the vehicle that you're in, all being translated in all your butt nerves here and your feet and your hands and your eyeballs. And that goes into your brain and you use that data to react or understand or judge the vehicle that you're in. So it is huge. And through your butt dyno is where you could feel slight changes. So in a recent upgrade video that I did on one of my vehicles on a Jeep, I actually test drove the vehicle did the upgrade, took it out, and literally through my butt dyno, was able to feel a bit of a difference, a little bit more, there was definitely more horsepower, not a lot, but enough that I noticed it, and that's the butt dyno in action. And that's where this becomes a really cool tool to be able to dial your vehicle in or enjoy your vehicle a little bit more. Like, I wanna encourage all car people, all, women, men, women, whoever you are that like cars or the automotive lifestyle to always better your driving skill and learning how to embrace the butt dyno or at least the theory of the butt dyno is an important step and tool in doing that better. So sitting in the car is where it becomes very obvious, hopefully to you and not just this awful drawing that I had up there on the board where you can see the amount of contact. Now I'm growing the butt part of the dyno to basically anything that touches the seat is incorporated in the butt dyno. And so now you have your eyes looking out, scanning your vestibules, telling you what the car is doing G-force wise. And then you have your hands aiming the car, steering the car, getting feedback and feel from the car, changing gears if you have a proper car. Then you have your feet down there doing their job, hitting the brakes, change, hitting the clutch, doing the throttle, all those important things. And then the car, you are in contact with the car and with this entire group part of your body. Therefore, you as a driver, it's your job to translate all of the things you feel here. So it depends, you know, in whichever car you're in on how tactile or how aggressive those feelings are gonna be translated to you. And that's the sign of a very good car is a car that trans mits just enough feedback to the driver but doesn't beat the driver up and i've been pleasantly surprised actually with this mustang the, the test drive video that i put up a few weeks ago on that went so well so this gives you the profile look of why where the butt dyno range is from, from here to here and how important and what it does where it lives in the vehicle and this vehicle will tell you lots through there
Now, butt dyno isn't just a funny thing to say, hashtag butt dyno, and it doesn't just apply to road cars. It applies to everything. Butt dyno comes really into play when you're off-roading. Now, when you're in a Jeep and you're doing some treacherous rock crawling or anything, you use your butt dyno, and this is, again, this section of your body here is incorporated in the whole thing, and that tells you traction. It's not just what you're visually seeing and feeling the Jeep tilting and leaning and getting traction. It's the amount of what you feel and the Jeep will con communicate a lot to you as, and I've seen that in really good drivers know what the Jeep is doing underneath them. And then you've seen other drivers. I tend to fall into the other one. I like to think that I'm getting better all the time, but who just, hit the gas pedal and just blindly huck themselves up stuff. But some of the guys that I've seen um, really, really use all of the information they're given to get the most out of their vehicle and get up stuff that, uh, you know, I, I've actually seen a few, a few times, you know, when I was out on dirt every day, uh, Fred would get up stuff that I went, that just doesn't even look possible. So. There you go. Um, butt dyno is important, not just in road cars, in Jeeps, off-road world as well. And it's really fun to say, hashtag butt dyno. Let's see if we could do something with that on social media. If you're over there on uh, Instagram, auto edits Jason, uh, throw a picture of you and your car going butt dyno and hashtag butt dyno and me, and we'll see if we can do it. I have an account on Twitter. I don't do much with it. it the Twitter kind of scares me still. And so if you're more over there, Let's, let's see if we can do, have some fun. We'll get a couple of these out there anyway. So there you have it, a quick bit of information. Some of this you might have already known, some you might have just learned, and I love that. So thank you so much for watching. I want you just to get out, learn about your vehicle, learn about your own skills, and grow them, especially your butt dyno. Grow that skill. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your drive.